Hey, what up, young scholars? This your boy, the Extra Large Professor, and we have right in the middle. Twin number one. And we have on this side. Twin number dos. Hey, hey, hey. Twin number dos. Okay, and this year on Dad's Cypher, we are covering Roddy Rich. Start with me. Start with me. And, and every person would have started with me right and now. And apparently <laughs> they're starting with each other. <laughs> So like I said on Dad's Cypher, we always trying to uh, inform y'all on what's, who's out there and that sort of thing. So Roddy Rich definitely is a, one of the newer artists that's charting on the Billboard charts right now. So chances are if... Box. With the song box, the video that uh, we are breaking down is start the, with me. Start with me. Uh, starting the uh, with the rapper uh, Gunner. Gunner. Yeah, Gunner. Gunner. <laughs> He's also a, a uprising artist too. So. Yeah, and uh, it's Gunner for those parents out there. G U N N A. So we're looking at Roddy Rich. Start with me. That cipher. She came in aggressive. What the fuck is you niggas doing, man? This is crazy. Like, come on, man. Like, for real? Like, cuz they just killed your brother and you sitting here? That's funny as fuck to me. Y'all acting like some zippers on God. That's what I be saying. Yeah, alright, but you What's sitting zippers? there too, though. Y'all got me fucked up, though. I don't, go, I don't know what you niggas is on, but I'm on some other shit on God. Y'all got me fucked up. <sighs> Okay, so they're showing how to cook crack in uh in a project. Oh, Very Jesse familiar with this. So kids out here playing and Negroes or rolling dice and doing a drive-by. I hate those heavy eyelashes. And they got the baby out here, man, with the shoe. I, this is just sad to me. It's and foremost, I, I I just find this song sad more than anything. You know, um like I like I was saying. To me, it's kind of painful for me to watch some of this because I grew up in an environment like this. And it just showed me just how much you just lose your innocence in environments like this. I mean, you see in a video, the kids are playing hopscotch and trying to jump rope and they're doing the chalk outline, but then it's interrupted by this explosion of violence. And then you see this death and loss. And I understand this because, you know, when I was growing up, I, of course, we had rappers that talked about the same thing, talked about the same type of pain. But, you know, I would like, although I feel like this song makes you aware of what's going on, I really would like sometimes in these songs to see the other side, like what is the end result when the mother has lost their child? What is the end result? I mean, we see that the brother in the beginning of the video is upset and he's going to get vengeance. But after that, how does he live with it? You know, I, I kind of, you know, and I get that whole idea. If a Negro try to start something with me, I'm going to react violently. And I get that. But when does the stop? What's the solution? Because all it's doing it's creating another cycle for me. So I mean, yeah, that's the problem with I mean, that's a, a major problem in today. I mean, and I don't know, you guys know Roddy Rich more than I do. Is he trying to bring awareness to it? Because yeah, I know is. I know yeah. he's had a lot of problems himself. He had like domestic violence issues, um, and that sort of thing. He had a lot of problems, as most young people that's well, you in their twenties. But if, if you, you know. watch his interviews, he even says, "I forgot which interview it is, but he was like, once he went to jail, he got caught with something. But he, once he went to jail, he, he was sitting in the cell. Like, I had to turn my life around, and it, that's actually where the song Box comes from. If you heard of it, Box is being in jail, right? Yeah, that's what he means by Box. Well, at least that, that's what, yeah, that's what he means. So like. The thing is called sorry for being anti his album called called sorry for being antisocial. So I mean he's talking about 
problems that go on in everyday life. What is, is showing in this video that some of these environments in which, especially when you look at a song like Start With Me, he's basically saying like these environments and these uh, communities that a lot of us live in is going to be confrontational. They're not going to handle things peacefully. So like, like I know in school they tell you guys don't bully and that sort of thing. But in these communities, yeah. no one is going to do that. No one is going to say stop bullying. And you see how they handle these things. But I think one of my favorite parts in the video was to see that the playground actually got set on fire. The basketball hoop and all of that got set on fire. Because it's trying to tell it's really showing that in these hoods, these kids don't have innocence. It's not going to be a safe place. It's not going to be, oh, let me start my anti-bullying campaign. It's not going to be that here because it, these people are living real life problems in real life. But the thing is, and I appreciate rappers bringing awareness, but I think we also got to talk about solutions because it's, it's definitely, it's time for that. One thing that did bother me is in the trap, they showed the that the guy was making cocaine. He was making crack I mean, cocaine. You have to make money somehow. That's somehow you have to get out of the situation. And I and I get that, but you know what? I think in this era of especially when I the death of Juice World definitely impacted me. And I think we have to do better at promoting anti Drugs in a different way. I don't think uh, he was promoting drugs. Is ever trying to say? I, I mean, he's selling. He's promoting. That doesn't mean he's promoting. Saying hey, go do drugs. I mean, that's he's showing how the projects are. But you know what? I would like to show mm -hmm. them to show the impact that drugs really have on those uh -huh. communities. You know what are the impact that drugs really have on it? You know what I mean? And then in that video, you didn't see a lot of uh, of fathers in that video. You saw old folks and you saw kids. And then you saw like a bunch of young people and especially that young girl came in very aggressive too. That was like, we're just going to go in and shoot anyone to have confrontation. It's kind of scary. Yeah, he has a couple songs that touch up on this. Down Below is another one that talks about this. Box, a lot of his songs, he's talking about the situation. From his father's standpoint, it really alarms me to see you know, the, it shows me the impact of when young men do not have fathers in these communities, that this is the way that they go about handling confrontation. That bothers me. And it bothers me even more to see that the young lady in the video is like even questioning the men manhood. And she's even being aggressive. And so it's like everybody is being kind of pushed to be like sort of animalistic or pit bull like and how they deal with confrontation so that's you know start with me really it, it brings awareness to what's going on it brings awareness to you know the uh, sad things that's going on in the community but it you know I'm just I guess I'm hoping that in the future songs and, and you know he has a brand new album out it's called, you know, the antisocial album. Hopefully it will talk uh, more about, you know, some solutions and that sort of thing.